Hello, students. Miss Simon here with a new read aloud. We're going to read the story, Give Bees a Chance. Did you know that bees are so, so important for this earth and the environment? Well, I bet you did. That's why you're here listening to this story. So let's get it going. Here are all sorts of bees. The mining bee, squash bee, sweat bee, southeastern blueberry bee, cellophane bee, wool carter bee, European honey bee, common bumblebee. Give bees a chance. Words and pictures by Bethany Barton. Buzz. This is my best buddy, Edgar. We love all the same things, like board games and dinosaurs, strawberries and honey, and of course, bees, except that I don't really like bees. Sure you do. Didn't I tell you there are about 25,000 different kinds of bees to love? Maybe. And then I told you all about the three types of honeybees. Get them away from me. Blow gently on bees to make them scatter. So here we have lots of different bees. We can learn about the queen bee, the worker bees, and the drones. Whew, thanks. Like I was saying, I don't like bees. But why? Mostly because of their stingers and attached venom sacs, which are the cause of painful bee stings. That part you told me last week. But that was just one bee. Couldn't you still give bees a chance? Here last Sunday, Edgar was in tears because the super mean bee stung him. Ouch! Maybe I just need to remind you how weird and cool a honeybee's anatomy is. So let me tell you about it. They have five eyes, two stomachs, four wings, and six legs. Yeah, and still a stinger. Ouch. Maybe you just need some time to get to know them. How about millions of years? You know, bees lived with dinosaurs. And even ancient Egyptians kept bees. In fact, honey from bees was found in Egyptian tombs. And it was still edible. Ooh, honey. Perfect. Maybe you just need some honey. Bees make honey. Why are you telling me all this stuff? So you'll give bees a chance? Once you learn how great they are, you're bound to fall in love with them. Check out how honey is made. So let's go through it. A bee gathers nectar from flowers. The nectar goes into a special honey stomach called a crop. Contents of the crop are spit up into a new bee's mouth. The new bee breaks down the sugars of the nectar within her own crop. This processed nectar is passed along to several more bees, who each break down the nectar into their crops until it becomes honey. Then the honey gets barfed into a honeycomb cell and fanned by the wings of bees to evaporate moisture. Lastly, it's sealed with beeswax to keep it safe until it's eaten. Did you say barf? Just one pound of honey takes two million flowers and thousands of bees to create. 
Too many bees. Remember, blow gently on bees to make them scatter. It looks like I haven't convinced you just yet. Nope, because they're all gonna sting me. Oh well, bees do sting sometimes, but not because they're mean. So here are the stinger stories. Bees only sting to defend themselves or to avoid getting squished or smashed. In fact, many bees lose their stinger after attacking, which is sort of like your hand disappearing if you pinch your sister. Also, wait, what are you wearing? Bee armor. That's not going to work. It was designed for dragons. I think it can handle bees. Well, there is a kind of armor that beekeepers wear, but it looks quite a bit different. It allows them to collect honey and beeswax without getting stung by startled bees. So here's the beekeeper's outfit. It has, it's white in color because it puts bees at ease. The veil protects the beekeeper's eyes and neck. The suit and gloves cover their skin. The beehive frame is filled with honeycomb. And here are the hive boxes with removable frames for bees to build their honeycomb in. You know, I love honey, but I'd be willing to give it up forever to never see a bee again. But giving up bees means giving up so much more than honey. Bees have a big impact on the food chain. You see, in order for plants to grow fruits and vegetables, they need the right ingredients, like sun, water, and pollen. A major ingredient they need is pollen. But since flowers can't move, they can't always get pollen from each other. I want to make a strawberry. Throw me some pollen. I don't have arms. That's where bees fly in. They act as a pollen delivery service, helping give flowers the ingredients they need. A bee's fuzzy body catches pollen from flowers, and the pollen falls into the next flower the bee visits. A single bee can visit over 1,000 flowers a day, making bee pollination powers unparalleled, which means without bees, there'd be a lot less yummy stuff to eat. And bees are disappearing in large numbers. Bees actually need our help. Okay, I take it back. I don't want bees gone. I even sort of want to help them as long as they don't sting me. Planting bee-friendly flowers is a great way to help the bee population. So flowers like blue hyssop, cone flowers, and asters. Won't it just attract more bees? Hopefully, yes. But just approach a bee like you would a dog you don't know. Don't get too close and don't try to touch it. Unless you're a flower, it should lose interest and fly away. And if more people like you give bees a chance, they might just have, well, a chance to make the world a sweeter place. Now, have I told you how much I love bears? The end. All right, here are some type of bees we can learn about. You can pause the story here to learn more. And I hope you enjoyed this story and let's end with a fun bee fact. Honeybees have hair on their eyes. Bees sometimes communicate by dancing. 
And an average queen bee can lay up to 2,000 eggs in one day. And sometimes bees sting people like me. I hope you enjoyed this story and you learn lots of interesting facts about bees and have come to understand just how important bees are for pollination. Have a great day.